from Nebraska, y'all. It's Square Peg, and it feels like it's been a minute since I've made a video, just a regular old upload. Ooh, there goes a crazy wild cat. I've had a really busy week, and I haven't been feeling my best, and I'm kind of exhausted, and things are really get and get getting kind of hectic. It's get, it's get, yeah, it's feeling hectic, and I just have so much stuff, uh, not enough time to make all the videos. Uh, there's just so much data. But I came across something interesting today. See, like I find something interesting and I don't get around to making the video and then five more interesting things happen and there goes Jerry Springer and there goes Ethiopia and there goes all these other things that I wanted to make videos about and I just never get around to. Which is a shame, but there's only one of me, so I do the best I can. Hey, cats! So, anyway, I found a headline today, and of course, it's Detroit, so it pops out at me because, you know, Uncanny Deduction is always looking at things Detroit, and this one has got a very nice little alliteration. They launched a program for removal of dead, diseased, dead, dangerous, and diseased trees. Dead, dangerous, and diseased. And I said, well, what are they trying to tell us here? That's a lot of d. That's a lot of D's, right? And I was thinking about the asteroid earlier, the 2023DW, 20, and now there's a 2023DQ, which sounds like ice cream, which sounds really good. It was hot today. I digress. So I, the thumbnail for this video is like, okay, so DDD, D, D, that's like 3D. Sure, yeah. Um, D is 4, so 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Okay, I added 64 days to today when this I, this thing came out like an hour ago, or well, when I first found it. How on earth did I end up with a prediction about Hawaii? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not even exactly sure. I'm going to have to go through, I started writing stuff down so I wouldn't forget how I ended up in Hawaii from Detroit. <laughs> So I did that first, right? I added 64 from the DDD, that's 444, multiplied them, got 64, and I added it to today when this news came out. And I ended up on July 7th. Okay, it wasn't until I was midway through here that I realized, oh, wait a minute, the Georgia Guidestones came down last year on July 6th, right? So I've got that tucked away in the back of my head, but I'm not sure that it actually relates to this. Um, that I found out about Hawaii, but it is something to think about. There was a lot of interesting things that happened on July 7th throughout the eons. It went all the way back to like the 1400s. One of them was when chocolate first made it to Europe. And I was like, eh, there's that Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and the chocolate factory explosion that just happened. But you know what? Only one of me. I do the best I can, right? So anyway, I found out that on July 7th in 1898, McKinley signed the Organic Act, and it probably had for other purposes at the end of it, but one of the things that it did was annexed Hawaii. Hmm, annexed Hawaii. That sounds interesting, right? So I've been looking at, it was, it's been a while since I've been looking at Hawaii not being a state anymore, but I, I started you know, finding the midpoint, you know, like where is the midpoint between this and now? And I came up with 61. I, I'm, I, it got really messy in the middle. Let me, I'm just going to start over here and work my way over. So we have the annexation of Hawaii and then 39 years later, 1929, now, this was the booming of the tourism industry, at least in Hawaii. So they had a uh, Hawaiian Airlines started that year. The owner of it, or the starter of it, was Stanley somebody Kennedy Jr. His first name was Stanley, and his last name was Kennedy, and he was a junior. And he bought this plane, the pacemaker, and he thought that people would be more comfortable coming to Hawaii if they started out just doing little like tours over the island so you weren't like out over the vast ocean right off the rip which was apparently scary 
I can understand that, especially in an open cockpit biplane. <laughs> so he started this little, like, uh, tourism thing, you know, take you up in, in a little plane and look at the islands from above and get people used to being in the air, right? And then also there was a really, like, a millionaire's cruise. It was the SS Malolo. And they planned to do 90 days, I think, but halfway through, or almost halfway through, the stock market crashed. And it ended up being like, stay on the boat. Because everybody's portfolios of money had foofed. You know, they would get off the boat, I guess, and telegram or whatever, telegraph, and no money. <laughs> so they couldn't, like, get off the boat and go spend money because they didn't have any. So the cruise industry was born out of these millionaires being stuck on a cruise boat for 90 days and having no money to spend. <laughs> kind of a cool story. Um, SS Malalo, yeah. So tourism started here. Then, the, then we go here to, I'm going to go here. 1961 is another 39 years. No, I'm lost. I might have to start this over again. I know the math works out, but I didn't draw it out. I'm just so tired. It takes a long time to do all this. <laughs> so, anyway, in no on November 22nd of 1961, the movie Blue Hawaii came out. And it had Elvis Presley. There's our eggplant. It made $4.2 million at the box office. So there's a 42. It was 102 minutes long, so there's uh, the, you know, 201, the little exercise that they did ahead of time, yeah. Um, this movie was basically uh, the main character, whose name was Chadwick Gates, by the way. Um, he, his family wanted him to go into the fruit business, but he ended up going into tourism. So this is like traditional farming sort of stuff versus catering to the wealthy and doing frivolous things like touring around the world on a big cruise ship. Or, however, I didn't watch the movie, so I don't know what kind of tourism necessarily. But I get the feeling that that's sort of what the gist is as far as this timeline goes, right? So when they annexed Hawaii, it was very much traditional. And then we have this event, which marks sort of a a boom in millionaires experiencing Hawaii with lots of money, right? And then this was sort of the peak of it. 1961, an Elvis movie. It was a big hubbub. Lots of money was spent and lots of big parties were being had. They actually told folks they weren't allowed to go party with Elvis Presley at night because they were showing up to the set late in the morning. <laughs> so they couldn't play with Elvis anymore. <laughs> um... It was directed by Norman Torog, I guess is how you say that. But I, I underlined the Norman because Norman keeps popping up. Norman D and other Normans. Um, but like I said, not enough time. So I may never get to the Norman thing. Um, and then I noticed, well, this is uh, 1122, right? Uh, well, two years later, exactly, 1122 was the JFK also, C.S. Lewis also, Aljous Huxley. They all died on the same day. And 61 and 63 straddle this flip date of 1962. November 22nd and November 22nd on either side of 1962, the flip date. Even though we're looking at a timeline that's sort of centered on 1961. So if we go to this year, or maybe next year, I think it was like 23, 24, and then back to 61, and then back to 1898. But because of this date, I recognized that we were straddling a flip date here. Then I found um, this here. 1959. This was a book by James Michener called Hawaii. And it was also the year that Hawaii became the 50th state. The last state of the 50. Um, Eisenhower, curiously enough, the year before, on 7-7, the very same date, 7-7, Eisenhower signed the bill to approve Hawaii becoming a state. And then it was August, oh no, 
uh, yeah, August of 21 of 1959 that it actually became the 50th state. The Michener novel Hawaii uh, was published on 1120. Very close to these 22s, but not quite. Uh, then it was seven years later that the movie Hawaii that was based on the book came out, right? Okay, so it was 61 years in between this 1959 when it became a state and this 1898 when it was annexed. 61 years. But in between the Blue Hawaii movie with Elvis and the, annex and the annexation by McKinley, 63 and a third years. So it's close, but not quite, right? Which is why I ended up with a kind of a mess over here. I ended up erasing it and rewriting it, and I went from 23 to 24, back to 23, to 25, to 24. I was trying to figure out this math, and I finally did. <clears throat> it helped that I discovered about this uh, hurricane, Iniki, the strongest hurricane ever to hit Hawaii, I guess, since they've been keeping records. It was on September 5th of 1992. So that puts the midpoint over here, which matches up with the midpoint over here. That's why they're both green. I tried to color code it to make it a little easier to understand. And yeah, tourism and fruit. So then we have a hurricane, and that's like a precursor to the woot woot. <coughs> which really killed the tourism industry, right? Tourism, eh. I think it's still, like, struggling on with those people who still have money and the ability to fly, right? But it's probably not long for this world. And people are going back to traditional stuff. They don't want to buy supermarket food anymore. They want to go back to raising their own food because that's the only way you really know, or the best you can anyway, that it's decent food to eat, is if you grow it yourself, right? So you can... You can see that palindrome, right? You can envision it in your mind that we've gone from a traditional to wealthy tourism kind of stuff and back down to traditional. Yeah? Does that make sense? So then you have this 63 and a third and you have 61 over here. So then it's a matter of transferring it out over here. And where does that lead us? From the annexation of Hawaii to... Aloha, Hawaii, as in, bye-bye, Hawaii. I came to spring of 2026. As I said, I did not, like, draw a timeline out that exactly showed the date. So uh, if anyone is a fact checker out there, please fact check it. I would appreciate it. If you would, you know, like, write down these dates and draw it out and, you know, call me out. I don't mind. If you do it nicely, that's better, you know. <laughs> but everybody makes mistakes, and I did work on it for quite a while, so I'm pretty sure that I'm right with all those maths. But it's a lot, you know, and you can get kind of lost in there as you're going through it. One other thing that I wanted to point out, and I, I don't know if you can tell, but I sort of put little boxes around these initials. I pointed out the eggplant here, but there's a lot of A's and H's in here too. We have Aljuis Huxley, we have Aloha Hawaii, which I wrote it on there and then I noticed that it was an A and an H. Uh, Annex is Hawaii, same thing. I didn't realize it until afterwards. Um, I thought there was another one. There's three of them. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. So we know that right now we're also looking at parallels with World War II. So it's not too surprising to find these A's and H's, but it is a little bit surprising to find so many in a Hawaii timeline, unless you think about Pearl Harbor. Because Pearl Harbor was a really big thing having to do with World War II. It is the incident that that really pulled us into the war, even though at that point the Germans were mostly done and we ended up spending most of the time fighting the Japanese. It's still World War II, which has a huge Hitler association, right? So we have these A's and H's showing up. I really do think it's interesting that, the, you know, all these Elvis things that so we had, Seattle, and Hawaii. We've talked about Elvis in Hawaii before. 
it was late it was a decade later you know but that's the eggplant you know so there's some kind of attachment to hawaii with him him i don't know <laughs> yeah i'm gonna pause it real quick so i can review this and make sure that i didn't miss anything Okay, the only thing that I didn't that I didn't mention, I think, is down here in the corner. I have another thing that happened on July seventh, somewhere in history. It was nineteen nineteen, the year nineteen nineteen, in the Wimbledon. A man named Gerald beat a man named Norman, which reminded me of Jerry Springer because his middle name is Norman and his first name isn't Jerry; it's Gerald. So Gerald Norman Springer just died, right? I really do need to make that video because I liked the stuff that came out of that. I got a flock of seagulls one too, birds. <laughs> I have so much stuff in my notes I want to share with you guys. It's really hard to get it all out onto video, but anyway, I am predicting that Hawaii will no longer be of the 50th state. Um, I don't know. This doesn't indicate how or why or or anything like that. It's just a timing that we are looking at the spring of 26. And what is this? So three more years, and I think that Hawaii won't be a 50th state of the United States of America anymore. Yeah. I also pointed out here, fruit, organic. Like, why is it called the Organic Act? You know, I think of organic food, and there's the fruit company that, that uh, this guy's family wanted him to go into the family business with fruit. And this is called the Organic Act. Thought that was interesting too. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great night.